Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. What the hell is going on with Rooster Teeth? Uh, Cockbite likes kids. Oh, yeah. Hey, something, something's up with Rooster Teeth. We've been kind of, uh, I guess, monitoring the decline of Rooster Teeth for the last couple of years. Uh, you know, lots of scandals, lots of layoffs, lots of drama, and... Now they're getting into doing children's programming. Right, because that makes sense. Because that totally goes with their image. Right, it fits. Well, hey, remember they had some issues. <laughs> they had some issues with some and underage allegedly, people. Possibly, allegedly, possibly, maybe. Allegedly. Um, that one person was underage, so, you know. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about this. This, this does feel like a, a last-ditch effort on the part of uh, Warner to, to make Rooster Teeth profitable because it, it seems like- It's a weird move, that's for sure. It is a very weird move because it, it seems like they're just throwing spaghetti against the wall at this point in time, trying to figure out what to do with Rooster Teeth. Uh, they flatlined on YouTube. They've had lots of people leave the company. They've had massive restructuring and layoff. And it just seems like Rooster Teeth is just a brand now. They're the company that makes Ruby stuff. Oh, but that's not known. They're gonna make kids stuff now. Now they're gonna make kids stuff too. So, good luck with that. We're gonna so much an image of the other stuff they made. We're gonna we're gonna talk about it. before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over two hundred thirty-five thousand subs. Not nearly as many subs as Rooster Teeth has, but they are uh, losing subs pretty much every month. We get close to the amount of views, though. We do actually get close to the amount of views they get, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. They were at one point in time. Uh, you know, one of the biggest, uh, uh, you know, channels on the internet, uh, Rooster Teeth. I mean, they were kind of YouTube before YouTube and they've just been in this state of decline for two or three years now, mm -hmm. probably before that. But it, I mean, it's really been rapid decline for the last two or three years. And, you know, I mean, they went from even just a couple of years ago, you know, averaging, you know, 30, 25, 30 million views a month. And now they're down, you know, 8 million, 7 million with years and years of, of content. Now, we would love to have some of the numbers that they have, uh, but that's just two of us. They're a pretty big, a pretty big company. Well, yeah. We I'm looking at daily views and sometimes we get that. Sometimes we do get more. And we don't have 9.3 million subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. So they're not, they're not doing well, guys. We don't know what's I guess up. we're doing it wrong. We need to do kids programming. We need to do kids programming. Yeah. I don't even know what Rooster Teeth is anymore. We're going to talk about you know, kind of other uh, other divisions of Warner. You know, we, we talked about this little Ellen show that they're doing. You know. about, about, you know, optimism and resilience and being friends with people. Being friends with people. And you had a big scandal about being mean to people. I guess it's, uh, you know, they want to fix their image. Uh, so that's coming from Cartoon Network. And also uh, coming from, from Cartoon Network is, uh, let's see, we got Tom and Jerry doing another kid's show. Tom and Jerry time. At least it's classic. If I'm, I'm, wait, are they, how are they going to ruin it? I. They got to make it current year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And we've got Bat Wheels uh, coming. To I saw that earlier. I was like, what is this? Ethan Hawke is going to be Batman, but basically it's cars with the Batmobile. Oh my it. God. It's like Bob the Builder or, or like cars, like Paw Patrol, if they were just vehicles or something like that. There yeah. was a show that was like rescue vehicles, but I can't remember what it was called. I don't know. They had that Chuck and Friends. They had. I other. don't remember what it was. Anyway, this is designed to sell preschool toys. Uh, you could look at this, and this is you know we talked about uh, you know how they were canceling some shows like Infinity Train, and like, like what's popular? Paw Patrol. Yeah, Batman toys always sell. Imagine X Batman toys always sell. Yeah, they have the so. like the little figures now. Like they have a pack of like squattier figures that were like for yeah, the preschool, and mm -hmm. they're like always selling. Oh yeah, at, yeah. at Walmart. Yeah, so of course they're going to be like, yeah, we're we're going to have some Batman vehicles, and we're going to sell the shit out of it, and it's all about selling merch. Uh, so it's just a toy commercial, just like the eighties. Mm -hmm. Guys should love it. But yeah, they actually canceled a lot of shows that were more young adult. I think on Cartoon Network to chase after. This stuff, and so now, and now Rooster Teeth is going to chase after it. Now Rooster Teeth is chasing Gosh, after this kids is so weird. stuff too. Freaking weird. Uh, Warner Media's Rooster Teeth moves into kids TV with Albert Whitman Media deal. I'm looking at this. I'm not seeing Ruby. I'm not like this is completely off brand for Rooster Teeth. This is weird. This is very weird. This is desperate. I think this is. They are trying very hard to make a case for keeping Rooster Teeth 
a, a separate entity, but why should they? They could just roll Rooster Teeth in the Cartoon Network at this point. Mm-hmm. And that's what we heard was going to happen. That's why they were downsizing things. And at this point, I'm like, why? Maybe this is last ditch not get rolled in. Yeah. Um, so I, just I mean, it's like such... <sighs> It'd be like if suddenly we saw, said we weren't going to do what we do anymore, that we were just going to start doing kids' shows. I mean, like, we're just going to We're going to be do... the new Coco Melon. Yeah. You guys would be like, what? Bubbly you know? Steve and friends. Yeah. It's just so – it's such a it's such a 180. It is. Uh, yeah, Warner Media back. Rooster Teeth is moving into children's programming with a slate deal with publishing company Albert Whitman Media. And you go out to Albert Whitman Media – and uh, I've never heard of them before. I'll be honest. And we were. I recognize a couple of the drugs. Yeah, they're the little, books. little kids, kids books. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, um, it's a children's book publisher. Yeah. The co-development and co-production partnership will see the two companies work on animated series for broadcast networks and digital platforms and has identified its first two projects. Um, the one follows the adventures of Freddie Ramos, an ordinary kid growing up in a multi-ethnic of city neighborhood who always has dreamt of becoming a superhero. When a mysterious gift turns out to be super-powered purple sneakers, his life is forever changed. Oh, God. Um, okay. And the yeah. third, the other one's third grader Raven and her friends discovered a wish library, a mysterious library, and promises to help solve problems with a simple wish. Every child at some point wishes they could change something with a simple wish, and the story responds to this desire with lots of humor. I'm sorry. I, I'm, this, is, this is weird. It's a little weird. It's like what what's what, what's people going for right now? What can get picked? You know what this is? What are p- networks picking up that we can do? They're not gonna. They're not picking up our shows. They don't want these shows anymore. No. What are they picking up? Oh, they all want. They also they want young, younger kids shows. I know we talked to some people. I'm not gonna say where. And they said they were that right now all the all the places all they wanted was younger kids shows. Yeah. Um, when we were talking about the one uh, Shadow Monitors is a show. Uh, this is recent. Yeah. Um. And so weird because it's like we've got you know. On one one side of it, you've got this uh, increased demand for manga and anime, and then the other side of it, you have Coco Melon, basically mm-hmm. Coco Melon type shows, and that leaves out all of the, you know, I guess, normal Cartoon Network style shows. This is why I think you're seeing a lot of stuff get canceled. We talked about the Owl House getting canceled. Uh, we talked about Infinity Train getting canceled, and I think it's just like they don't know what to do with these shows. But the preschool stuff sells merchandise. Yeah. I mean, that's... That's, that's why the they're trick. taking He-Man and making it not preschool, but like younger. Younger, they're definitely chunky in, figures. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. You're, they're leaning it younger because that's, the, that's what that's what everybody's asking for right now. These these outlets, these, uh, you know, TV stations and things. So, the yeah. channels. Rooster Teeth is delighted to expand its slate of animated properties to include uh, the beloved books as we expand our storytelling efforts into the children's genre. Again, this is completely off-brand completely off brand for Rooster Teeth. This mm. doesn't even make sense. No. Um, you know, Rooster Teeth So is, how bad is it really behind the scenes? That, I think it's worse than they're letting on. Yeah, I really do. Because there, there is literally no reason for them to exist other than to be an animation studio because they were doing, uh, you know, Netflix's Transformers show and stuff like that. But it's not Rooster Teeth content. Like, you're never going to see another Ruby come out of Rooster Teeth. Well, at least, I bet they're glad they don't call themselves Cockbite now. Yeah, right. It'd be really hard to get a deal with children's books when your name's Cockbite. Cockbite. Oh my god. Uh yeah, so there we go, guys. I think we are this is this is end stage rooster teeth. I would not be surprised if this these projects got pushed over to Cartoon Network at some point. And once this Warner Discovery merger goes through, because we know Rooster Teeth, there were there were rumors that they were up for sale mm-hmm. too. You know, why why do you need multiple animation studios? Just roll it all under Cartoon Network and, and call it a day. I don't know. I don't know. Weird. Weird. It is weird. We're going to keep watching this, though. Okay. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.